Hello, today I want to tell you about watercress in aquaponics. So you can see here is my aquaponic system with the watercress. And one of the reasons I'm so keen about the watercress is it, it grows really well during the winter, which is great because there's other plants that you can see which, okay, they're growing a bit, but they're more or less um, sort of in rest regime during the, during the winter. The watercress is great eating salads all winter long with it and it makes a great soup as well. I'm going to put a recipe at the end for that. Um, there are a whole load of health and nutritional benefits from, um, from watercress and you can, you, if you're interested you can look that up on, on the internet. And uh, the other thing for me is it's super easy to do. So that's what I'm going to show you now how to do watercress in aquaponics. So this is the aquaponic system. The watercress I don't do in these grow beds, but here in the rafts in the deep water culture section. I have tried it in the little holes in the polystyrene, like this bit you can see just here, but I find it works best like this. If I take um, the whole plaque out and then I replace it with a net in a frame that fits in the hole that's been made that's been left by the polystyrene and I suspend the net about uh, three or four centimeters above the water level so that the wood or the net neither, neither the net or the wood is actually touching the water now the frame is easy to make I just took a few bits of wood to make a frame like this and screwed them together like this and then stapled the net on top of it and the net goes in like that and then I uh, choose a little bit of branch of, uh, of the watercress and only need a few and you just <coughs> spread them out in the net with uh, those little sort of rootlets that you can see the, the white rootlets as long as they're in the water um, the, the watercress will take off and grow and in fact even without the, the rootlets if you put the stem in the water those rootlets will, will come out by themselves and also just finishing that put that last couple in And then you leave it, and then after probably a month, you have this. A glorious, sumptuous um, bed of watercress. Now the question is, well, where do you get the watercress from? Well, you can go like I do here. This is a, a spring near to where I live. And I can, you just take a few little bits, and that's all that's needed. This was last year crop and it really was rampant and again just coming up with this year. If you don't have a, a wild source of uh, watercress you can just buy some in the, the shops and use that that will, will work as well. So just picking some here to make a salad. Right, here's the salad I made and in detail and here's Sarah eating the soup. So Sarah how is the soup? scrumptious nothing more sexy than a man who cooks here are the ingredients for the soup and um, here's the detail of those and how to make it 